in this question it is given three blocks a b c having equal mass small m and system is placed over this smooth horizontal surface coefficient of friction between block a and b and b and c is mu we need to calculate maximum value of mass of block d so that blocks a b c move without slipping over each other and we are given these four options in this question this line is important the blocks a b and c move without slipping over each other it means the system of the blocks a b c moving together that means there is no slipping between a b and b c if system is moving together that means the system should have the common acceleration so common acceleration should be small a rightward direction so let us assume this acceleration is small a and system is moving together that means the nature of the friction between the surface of a and b b and c should be static in nature block a and d are connected together with the light string it means the magnitude of acceleration of the block a and block d should be same so block d should move in the downward direction with the same acceleration small a now let us consider the free body diagrams first consider block d mass capital m that means weight will act in the downward direction capital mg okay a string is light that means tension in the string should be same tension at this point should act in the upward direction and tension at this point connecting block a should be in the rightward direction okay now we can write the equation of motion of the block d this is equal to capital mg minus t that is equal to capital m multiplied by small a okay let us make this equation number 1 now consider the free body diagram of block c first this block is moving in the rightward direction friction should be responsible for the motion of this block so friction force on this block should act in the forward direction so let us write this friction is f1 and we are interested to calculate the maximum possible value of the mass of block d that means the friction between the block should be considered as maximum maximum friction force mean limiting friction so let us write this f1 max okay now consider free body diagram of block b this is block b friction on the top surface should act in the leftward direction because friction at the same contact surface always occur in pair so this is f1 max so this will also be f1 max but in the leftward direction this block is also moving the rightward direction friction should responsible for motion of the block in the rightward direction so this friction should be equal to f2 max f2 max y because we have considered the maximum mass of the block d so maximum value of the friction at this surface also okay now consider block a this is block a the friction on the top surface in the backward direction should be in the backward direction so this is f2 max okay tension will act in the forward direction capital t and this is block a and system is moving the common acceleration so acceleration here is small a now let us consider the maximum possible value of the friction force limiting friction limiting friction force should be equal to mu multiplied by n so let us write n1 and we you know this n1 is equal to small mg okay because there is no motion of the block in the back upward direction so this is n1 equal to small mg so this value should be equal to mu multiplied by small mg okay so this should also be mu multiplied by small mg and like friction normal reaction also occur in pair so this is n1 n1 we know this is equal to small mg and this is n2 so let us call this n2 and mass is small m so weight should also be mg 
सो एन टू इज इक्वल टू एम जी प्लस एम जी दैट इज इक्वल टू टू एम जी इट मीन्स फ्रिक्शन हियर शुड बी इक्वल टू टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई म्यू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई एम जी ओके सो एक्सलेशन ऑफ दिस ब्लॉक दैट मीन्स मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल एक्सलेशन ऑफ दिस ब्लॉक सी शुड बी इक्वल टू म्यू एम जी डिवाइडेड बाई एम वी कैन राइट ए वन मैग्स दैट शुड बी इक्वल टू म्यू एम जी डिवाइडेड बाई स्मॉल एम स्मॉल एम स्मॉल एम कैट कैंसिल सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू म्यू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई जी एंड हियर ऑल्सो वी कैन से ए टू मैग्स शुड ऑल्सो बी इक्वल टू टू म्यू एम जी माइनस म्यू एम जी डिवाइडेड बाई स्मॉल एम दैट मीन्स दिस इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू म्यू जी इट मीन्स दिस एक्सलेशन शुड बी इक्वल टू म्यू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई जी सो दिस शुड बी इक्वल टू म्यू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई जी नाउ वी कैन राइट द इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन ऑफ दिस ब्लॉक ए दिस इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन शुड बी इक्वल टू टी माइनस टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई म्यू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई एम जी दैट इज इक्वल टू एम मल्टीप्लाइड बाई ए एंड वी नो ए इज इक्वल टू म्यू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई जी ओके दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर टू Now we can solve equation number one and two. We can add to eliminate capital T. So if we add equation number one and two, the equation will become capital M G. This is capital M G, right? T and T will get cancelled, and here is a minus two multiplied by mu M G. That should be equal to mu multiplied by capital M G. right from this equation and this is also plus mu multiplied by small mg okay now we can rearrange this equation if we rearrange this equation we will get the value of capital m so here we can rearrange we can write capital m in bracket 1 minus mu g g will get cancel and in the right hand side we will have 3 multiplied by mu multiplied by m okay that means capital m should be equal to 3 mu multiplied by m divided by 1 minus mu this is the maximum possible value of mass of block d and it means option d should be correct this is the correct option